Hello, dear colleagues. We are ready to start our the last but not the least webinar in the series of webinars devoted to the channels according to traditional Chinese medicine. And today it will be the 12th channel, liver channel. Let me remind you that all webinars are based on the works of our specialist and uh, reflexologist who works in the Vedapulse team who knows how to work with biological active points and who loves to do it, Sergei Kasinsev. So please, if you have any questions, send them to us and Sergei Kasinsev will be glad to share his opinion with you. We are working according to the scheme you can see on your screen. Uh, we'll talk about liver channel, its main characteristics, a projection area. Also, we'll pay attention to the PowerPoints of this channel and we'll finish our webinar with traditional method of passing for this particular channel. This channel is called Zhu Jie In Gan Jin in Chinese. It means that it belongs to our legs, it is connected to our legs. Jue in means a level of in category and it is a middle level of in category. Gain it's for liver in Chinese and zin means channel as you already know. Jue in connects liver meridian and pericardium meridian and it is the core of all metabolic processes. Jo-in is connected directly to the digestive and endocrine systems and influencing biological active points of the liver channel you can influence these two um, the most important systems in the human body. This channel belongs to the wood category. Uh, according to Yin Yang rule, it is connected to the gallbladder meridian. And uh, together, these two meridians initiate uh, a lot of different cyclic processes in the body. And uh, previously, we've already discussed the gallbladder meridian and everything that we were talking about it, it was about the first initial impulse. So, liver meridian, it is supporting force for this initial impulse. And we can say it's uh, about structuring this impulse. It is supporting energy and uh, it is about feeling this beginning and uh, about supporting all metabolic processes. Sure. Mm, we cannot say that there are any secondary organs in our body. There is no minor organs. But at the same time, liver, it is one of the greatest toilers. It works very hard. And uh, for example, it's interesting, um, some of you may know that uh, in Russian, uh, liver is called pechin. It seems to Russian verb Pitch, uh, which means in English to bake or to cook. So you can see in its name there is something similar to this idea of supporting inner fire in the body as in the big me mechanism. So from the Ayurvedic point of view, liver supports Agni. Liver belongs to the Pitta category itself. It's fire element and uh, it is connected to the digestion. Time of uh, maximum activity for this channel uh, falls at night and it is uh, starting at 1 a.m. and it lasts until 3 a.m. So it's time then we have a rest, time for sleeping, 
and uh, we should have a rest at this time. It's natural biorhythms of our um, body. But at the same time, our liver is working. And uh, there are um, metabolic processes, uh, there are uh, protein metabolism, and there are carbohydrate metabolism. A lot of different processes are happening when we have rest. And uh, different uh, nu nourishments, uh, nourition components, uh, they are being created at this time. A lot of systems in our body need these components and first of all they are urogenital and immune system. It is the liver which uh, connects all exchange processes in the organism. And um, we need liver to work properly. Uh, by the way, these functions, they are relevant for all channels belonging to the wood category, to the wood element. And it's very important moment of our daily life having a rest according to the natural biorhythms. Uh, that's why pay attention to your timetable and change it if necessary, uh, just not to mess your liver to take care of your health. Here are main characteristics of the liver channel. Liver is called sometimes also commander. Functioning of uh, energetic and informational system initiates new thoughts and uh, new plans. We are able to plan something for future. But if our liver is overloaded, if it feels tension, then it can be a supposition for the common fatigue. A liver as an organ is responsible for even qi flow and for even blood flow, blood circulating. Any toxic influence, uh, no matter that it's connected to our wrong diet or bad ecological conditions, or maybe uh, it can be due to unjust and vicious thoughts, any of these influences reflects on our liver. Sure, it influences uh, a lot of uh, parts of our body, but liver is the first who meets all these uh, negative effects. And Chinese people, uh, they appreciate uh, energetic and informational interconnections. They are important for them. And they say that uh, liver contains so-called Hun soul, which is responsible for these informational processes for intuition and uh, our new thoughts, ideas, uh, ability to be creative um, and for our social activities. Hun soul is contained in the eyes. And during a day, our eyes should be shining. It means that they are full of uh, energy, full of qi energy. Uh, they should be shining. It means that um, our energy level is OK, and our metabolic processes um, are happening in the right way. And at night, we should have a we should have a positive 
wholesome sleeping and this hoon soul can manifest itself uh, in our um, dreaming also because dreaming should not be too thrilling they should not be scaring because if you've got a uh, too strong or too long, maybe too thrilling dreams at night. It says about uh, some dysfunction in uh, this liver meridian. Liver channel uh, transforms and uh, redistributes the energy and our blood it regulates emotions and stimulates the digestive system it supports the exchange of body fluids it's also very important uh, for our sexual system it affects menstrual cycle in women and also you can see some other functions of this channel on your screen now. Uh, we should pay special attention uh, to the point that our blood system depends on the liver channel. So everything that's connected to blood can be influenced by means of uh, working with biological active points of this channel. Now you know that spleen channel um, supports uh, all functions of our body. But liver channel, it is the next stage, the next step. And uh, initially we get, uh, we get uh, food and uh, it comes uh, into our intestine. Then after that, it moves, mm, not the food itself, but uh, useful components which comes with food. They get into the energy system of spleen and it is uh, a new energy which comes uh, from outside, but to manifest this energy to materialize it uh, we need liver functions because liver manages these processes it creates advantages conditions for our energy in our words we can say that it manages all types of metabolic processes so influences practically all functions of our body. As we mentioned, it affects blood, but also eyesight, locomotorium, nervous, digestive, reproductivity, respiratory, cardiovascular, endocrine, and immune system. So it's what we just said. It is connected to all functions of our body. Also, it manages subcortical structures and it is responsible for our will. Talking about gallbladder, we mentioned that uh, it influences uh, our will characteristics, our will power, and they said that. Uh, it's possible to use biological active points of the gallbladder channel in treatment of different manias, in treatment of smoking or alcohol dependence or maybe drugs dependence or even in cases of uh, hyperalimentations. So, gallbladder, it is young component of our will. Liver channel, it is in component of our will. So, if you need to strengthen your will, you can use biological active points of the liver channel too.
This channel opens through your eyes. Also, you can see that mural of the channel, it's nails and also tendons elasticity. Healthy nails, they should be plain, they should be flat without uh, any hollows, without pimpling, they should be shining. And also it's easy to make a diagnosis of uh, blood circulating using our nails. Just look at your nail and uh, press it, then release and you will see at the point of pressure where will be a light spot or sometimes it's almost white spot and it's a norm. But important moment it should restore initial condition very fast during one second. If you can see this spot uh, for a longer time, it means there is a disorder in this energy system. You know that any channel starts or finishes at the tips of fingers or at the toes tips. So, using this nails diagnosis you can you can estimate blood circulating in all 12 meridians taste which is connected to the liver channel is sour taste emotion anger but also talking about the liver channel, it will be anger in its in position. It's not that anger then we are screaming, fighting and taking our emotions out. It will be in anger, which is more about our mm, inner world and it, it is directed uh, inwards. Mm, it is similar to some kind of displeasure. Then a person is mumbling and then person is not satisfied with his life. For example, some elderly people, they are often mumbling, grumbling something, so it's a sign of imbalance in this energy system. Talking about higher mental performance, uh, this channel contributes to uh, getting satisfaction from our life. If this function is not realized, then a person can become offensive, but being offensive is not the best way to meet this world because it's your reaction and it depends only on your thoughts and it's up to you to decide whether you'd like to be offensive or not. It's just a reaction which says that this person estimates uh, environment in wrong way, probably mm, underestimates situation or probably this person was waiting something else but did not get it. So, it is connected to the functioning of liver and gallbladder channels on energy level. Liver channel is responsible for our mobility and there is one, one, there is one um, proverb, we can say so, it says that there is only one constant thing in this world and uh, it is changing. It means that they should follow changes and then we will be 
just in biorhythms as it should be when we are trying to stop some moments even pleasant moments they just create some illusion of constancy and we retard uh, energy flows because we hide ourselves from external energy flow and uh, some blocks in energy system appear when we are trying to stop um, to freeze some energy that we got sometimes because it's similar to some attempt uh, to save water in your hand full when you've got hand full of water and you just took it sometimes and you're trying to save but it's impossible you will sp spill it or it uh, will evaporate uh, and finally it will change its qualities its taste and so on so there is no sense in such actions the same about energy we need to get all spectrum of impressions in life and if there are any disorders connected to this ability then you can use biological active points or the liver channel let's start working with biological active points and here are power points of the liver channel points of five elements the first point belongs to the wood category, the second to the fire element, uh, the third it is earth, the fourth metal, and uh, the eighth it's water. Point number six of the liver channel it's interspace point with an algetic effect. The fifth point it's low point which is connected to the point number 40 of the gallbladder channel. Also, here are more and shoe points. More point F14 and shoe point uh, V18. Uh, now let's speak in more detail about them. The first point of a liver channel is called Dadun in Chinese and can, it can be translated as a great insight or another translation is big hill. It is located uh, on foot from the inner side of big toy at nail's root. Walking with this point, you can use your nail. It's quite comfortable. Uh, it regulates menstruation, eliminates stagnation in urogenital system, and also helpful uh, when treating a venastasis in liver. The second point, Xinjiang, is called in English. Uh, temporary interval or temporary space it belongs to a fire element working with this point you should press it to the big toy just uh, in front of, of the joint the point itself is located between toys and uh, usually working with uh, similar location of points we are pressing in the direction of the bone. It normalizes uh, liver fire and all processes connected to the metabolism, connected to the metabolism, connected to the exchange. It also extinguishes inner wind and inner wind its pathological condition 
for example, its acute phase is called uh, blow of wind, wind blow, and in terms of uh, Western medicine, it is blood stroke. That's why it's important to extinguish and expel this condition. So you can use prescriptions including this biological active point for example once a week as a preventive measure and uh, it will be good in preventing such conditions as blood strokes. Also this point uh, is uh, common for spasmolytic effect. So it's universal spasmolytic point. The next point, number three, is located in the most narrow place between the first and the second toes. Just press your foot and then move along the space, which is the connection of this zone between toes. And at the place where two bones meet, you will find this point number three. It is called Tai Chun or powerful stream, powerful flow. It belongs to the earth element and pay attention, there are red lines on your screen, red lines uh, on the picture and they are for vessels here. So this point is located just over one of the main vessels. So please be careful when massaging or then making acupuncture here not to damage uh, this vessel. This point helps to restore smooth energy flow the energy flow. It regulates menstruation, calms the mind and also have uh, antispasmodic effect. It is used uh, in combination uh, with uh, point number two to get a stronger antispasmodic effect when it's necessary. Fourth point, Jun Feng or middle seal is located uh, in front of the inner malleolus. It is metal element. This point helps to normalize functioning of lower heater. It is used in painful syndromes uh, in shoulder girdle. Um, when there is uh, some lump in the throat feeling or some tickle feeling in the throat, then it's better to use this point in combination with the first point of the lungs channel. Let me remind you that the liver channel is the 12th channel in this system, but the system, it's a circle. So after the 12th, there will be the first channel. And energy from the liver channel should go smoothly uh, into a new lap, into a new loop, without some great differentials, without some drops. And uh, lungs channel usually possesses uh, a huge amount of energy. It's one of the strongest uh, we get energy through it. A liver meridian usually suffers due to uh, environment, uh, due to our uh, habits, so we should um, balance it. And to do it, sure, work with biological active points of these both channels.
Point number five, legal point, or, or final groove, it is law point. So it connects our channel uh, to other channels by means of law and UI points. And look at the screen. You can see here is a shin bone, and the height of this shin bone uh, is equal to 15 tsun. Divide it into three parts, and you will find point number five half uh, at the middle of a distance uh, at the shin bone. So it will be at the height of five tsun over the inner ankle. This point uh, helps to dissolve dampness uh, and heat, especially in urogenital system. It stimulates blood circulating in legs, regulates blood tension. Next point is point number six, or Jun Du point. Central capital. It is interspace point for the liver channel. It restores energy flow in this system and is located uh, at the middle of the shin bone. Seven tune over the ankle. This point is often painful and tensed. It means that energy flow in the liver channel suffers and uh, energy does not flow in an even smooth way. Use these points in different painful syndromes to activate energy flow, to restore exchange processes in different systems. In all these cases, in all these systems, it, this will be very useful and strong point for any kind of metabolism, as we mentioned, uh, for protein metabolism or for carbohydrates, for any of them. Point number eight belongs to water element and it is tonic point for this channel. It is located in the crease of the knee joint from the inner side and a little bit backward. Find the end of the crease of this knee joint and move along it uh, having your leg bent in the knee joint. Then finally you meet the tendon and at this place will be our point number eight. Uh, when working with it, uh, press in the direction of the joint. Be careful when working with needles, don't exceed uh, the recommended depth of acupuncture not to get into joint space and not to damage uh, entity of the joint. It is a specific point uh, for working with the pelvic organs and then treating different joint disorders. We should uh, use this point in combination with the point number five of the triple heater channel. It nourishes blood of the liver, so it means it is involved uh, in uh, uh, detoxification, detoxification of the whole body. Because it is the liver uh, that works with uh, different toxic elements through the blood. Next are Mo and Shu points. Mo 
Mo point or the main point lever gates in our words is located at the same meridian it is the final point of external course of the meridian it is located uh, at uh, the mid clavicular line in the sixth intercostal space it is an important point uh, then working with uh, digestion with digestive system it also influences breathing and Chinese say that lungs are branches and leaves of a breathing tree liver is the trunk of this tree and kidney it is root use this point uh, when working with any in process in the liver channel shoe point or uh, point number 18 belongs to the first line of the urinary bladder channel and it lays between the ninth and the tenth ribs it is responsible for all yarn processes in the body and it has a blood stopping effect also it can be analgetic uh, for different pains uh, in the head and around it can be also analgetic uh, then there are pains in tendons influences our vision liver channel belongs to root element according to Indian rule which is connected to the gallbladder channel and this channel goes uh, through low and yuan points you can see this traditional scheme now on the slide according to Ayurveda liver channel belongs to Peter category and we we've already mentioned uh, time of its maximum activity it's night time and we should have a rest should have a sleeping should be sleeping at this time talking about other ties of this channel we should mention pulse diagnosis here this channel works in pair with spleen channel and uh, liver channel will be husband uh, for spleen channel spleen channel will be wife it means that energy in the liver channel always should be a little bit higher than in the spleen channel and if there is any excess of uh, husband channel you can resend this excessive energy to the wife's channel using more and low points this channel finishes uh, in the lower part of our chest but please mm, pay attention it's external curse of the channel uh, also there is inner curse it starts here and the first uh, short course goes to gallbladder to the paired organ according to in yan rule uh, another course goes to our lungs because these two channel are con channels are connected as uh, the last and the first in the circle of the 12 meridians 
In the course of the liver channel meets lungs and from that zone it starts in a course um, of lungs channel and energy of our liver channel is moving like if it's diving it goes inside then it goes outside the third branch of the channel raises or towards our eyes and also there is a small branch inside which goes to our tongue and back middle meridian so such a complicated but interesting course of the liver channel talking about uh, reflex zones we should say that first of all it is projection of the right hypochondrium as in in the front part of our body so uh, in the back side uh, then it will be also a shoulder girdle and uh, this zone will be more active on the right side At this zone, it is similar to the zone of gallbladder from the back side. There are few uh, reflex zones on our face. Common zone is uh, intracilium also pay attention at the condition of lower part of an eyebrow uh, which is closer to the inner corner of an eye it says us about uh, our liver's condition if there are any wrinkles in the intercilium especially on the right side it says us about uh, tension in liver also look at the temporal area it reflects condition of uh, bile excretion processes and liver functioning if there are any painful syndromes uh, any problems with color or mm, any problems with entity of skin all these signs say about imbalance in the liver channel and here comes our traditional practical part of the webinar we are making practical launch of a small circle of energy circulation first of all we are doing it uh, to get better effect when working with um, biological active points of the particular channel of the liver channel today and to initiate this small circle of energy circ circulation first of all we are working with back posterior meridian or with back middle meridian then we are moving along the back midline from sacrum along the back to uh, our upper lip then we are working with uh, anterior middle meridian first of all initiate key point of the lung channel then start clapping along the anterior midline of the body and move up go through the chest 
make clapping at your chest, then go to the neck, uh, low mandible to the area of your mouth, and finish with touching uh, your teeth with your tongue to close this energy circle. After such preparation, we start working with biological active points of the liver channel. We start from the big toy, from the side uh, which is closer to the second toy. You can scrub it a little bit with your fingers and then start clapping. Go along the rear mm, surface of foot, inner surface of shin and uh, hip. Be careful in the groin area, then move in the direction of your abdomen and then just move a little bit to the mid-clavicular line then continue moving along this line. But remember, the channel does not stop here. It's only external curves which finish in the sixth intercostal space. Uh, please continue clapping, uh, but this, continue, this second part of clipping biological active points. So this channel depends uh, on your particular purpose, depends on your aim. Um, if you need to influence uh, some cerebral uh, blood circulating or, for example, vision, um, then continue clipping uh, moving up uh, to the eyes area, to the outer corner of eyes, and then to the most top of the head. If your aim is to initiate a big uh, energy circulation circle, or if uh, there is any blockage between liver and lungs and you need to solve it, then make clapping along the central line of the body until you meet a suprasternal notch and then go to the first biological active point of the lung channel. If you possess enough time, then please you can make clipping of the whole channel uh, of lungs. It also will be useful. Uh, making such uh, additional clipping of additional channel of lungs channel, you will uh, initiate a new energy circulating circle. Month of liver channels activity is January, so this channel will be active uh, in the period of, from the 7th of January up to the 5th of February. Remember about it, then working with your prescriptions. It can be useful information to strengthen effect of your prescriptions. And now we are finishing the great celestial circle of 12 meridians. We hope that you like this information and it will be useful. So practice it and use traditional Chinese medicine knowledge together with the Ayurvedic ideas. 
Thank you very much. Keep in touch. It was very nice to talk to you today. Goodbye.